you guys so this week it's the, actually the sun is so weird right now i think it's like there's a fire so it's really smoky so the sun is like orange right now but it's kind of cool lighting anyways so this week i'm going to be doing a weekly vlog just because i feel like i haven't done one of these in a while and just kind of like showed you guys my week um sorry i'm just on hold with the doctors right now because i need to go get my ears cleaned it sounds really weird but like i need to do this once in a while just because like i have an over accumulation of wax in my ears and then i need to go get it cleaned out at the doctors because i have like blockages anyways so i'm just on hold with the doctors but um yeah i thought that i'd do a weekly vlog for you guys because i miss you guys and just like talking to you guys throughout my week showing you guys what's up and not doing like a themed video i love doing the themed videos don't get me wrong but I also really do love doing these weekly vlogs because I feel like it's just more chill. Part of me doesn't like them as much as like theme videos because they're a little bit more like chaotic. But I do still really like doing them. So I thought that I'd bring you guys along my week. So I'm just headed to the gym right now. It's like 8.30. Yeah, that's what I'm currently up to. I honestly really don't want to work out today. Sorry if you hear holding music in the background. Um, but I really don't want to work out today. I know that it's going to make me feel better, so I'm forcing myself to do it because it's the determination. And yeah, so it's Monday today, by the way. And yeah, I just can't wait to spend this week with you guys. And it's going to be a really fun week, actually. So I'm deciding to do this on a good week. Yeah, I'm excited. just got back from the gym in the grocery store and i just wanted to show you guys a mini haul i got some butter i got a grass fed and then i got some bacon from greenfields this is actually a really good one and then i got this greek yogurt it's plant-based but it has a lot of protein so i got two because i go through it so fast it's really good i love it and then i just got an extra thing of bananas bagels and then the starbucks cold brew because you guys know that I have been having a hard time like with coffee hitting my stomach for some reason but cold brew has been great to me like I got a couple cold brews at Starbucks and it hasn't really affected my stomach because the acidity levels I'm pretty sure are really low so that's probably what my problem is but yeah I'm really excited I'm gonna make some oat foam to go on top of this with my breakfast but yeah, I think I'm just going to cook up a egg um, bacon like sandwich right now and it's going to be so good. So excited to eat this um this sandwich just looks so delicious and then i just have a little bowl of yogurt with like oats and cocoa nibs on the side and then my coffee this looks so good i'm so excited you guys i'm so excited because we are doing an office renovation today so this is um joel's desk and as you can see it's just like a one person desk so i don't have space to work on here as well but I realized that I really want a desk as well. And we have all this extra space here. So we actually bought a desk from Ikea that takes up this whole entire wall. From the wall to the Alex 9 drawer set here. So Joel's going to set it up right now. We just sold the desk on Facebook Marketplace. So we're going to just like um, leave that in the kitchen for now until the people come to get it. But we're really excited because now I'm going to be able to have my own desk space. And it's just going to be really nice for me but yeah this is the ikea desk as you can see it's huge it just looks so big but yeah it looks pretty simple to put together we just basically got a plank of wood with legs because it was like the biggest thing we can find and we got the last one left in stock so we're so happy but yeah he's gonna set up right now
Okay, so here's how the desk turned out. We love it so much better because it just like uses the space so much better than the other desk. And now I have a spot and Joel has a spot. It's a perfect two person desk. And we're so lucky with in stock at Ikea, but I'm going to like organize it and make it cuter, obviously. Like I really wanna get a desktop, so I'm really thinking about getting one because I spend so much time editing. So we'll see about that, but I really just wanna make our setups look cute. So that'll be in a future vlog. But um, yeah, here's a desk and we really, really like it. What is up you guys? I'm currently just on the way to get my nails done. I've just stopped at the gas station. She's filling my gas because it's not self-serve here. But I've had these nails on for so long now it feels like and I can't wait to get them off. Also, I have this thing where I think my nails, it looks disgusting. I think my nails are allergic to glue because when I put press-ons on and use that fake glue, my nails always turn yellow. So I think I have a reaction to nail glue and like my nails underneath, they turn yellow. It's not because they're dirty. It's literally because this happens to me every single time I get acrylics or put on fake nails because of the glue, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to get them done. I think I'm gonna do a little French tip brown moment. Okay, she's done filling up gas now. Awkward. So at that gas station, it was like, wasn't self-serve, so the worker had to do it for you. And I told them to put 50 bucks in my car. And then she like filled it up, I went in to pay, and then she filled it up. And then she came to my window, she's like, oh, I accidentally put $55. Um, I'm gonna go check if that's okay with my like manager, or the owner or whatever. And I was like, okay, like I asked for 50, which is like fine, like it's 50, like it doesn't matter to me. They didn't end up making me pay the $5 because I originally asked for just 50, so that's like, <laughs> that's not my fault. But um, like what if it was somebody that couldn't afford that extra $5? and they were just like oh you have to pay like i was just like what if they make me pay right now and i didn't have that extra five dollars like what what would happen um you're gonna siphon the gas out of my car i hope they don't do that to other people if they accidentally put too much gas in because that's completely their fault for doing that like that's not that's not my problem all right here is the before cannot wait Okay, so I just got out of the nail salon. I ended up just getting um, a solid brown color, like a nude brown, because there was like a miscommunication. I'm not gonna like get into it because I don't want to complain or be rude or anything, but there was a miscommunication when she was doing my nails. And um, this is the photo that I showed her. I'm actually gonna show you guys what I wanted in case you want some nail inspo. But I was really looking forward to this. This is what I originally wanted. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's like a brown French tip. That's what I originally wanted, and then there was miscommunication when she was doing my nails. I'm pretty sure they said that she was in training. Um, and so, anyways, I ended up having to just do this solid brown color, which is still really nice, but, like, I'm just kind of a little disappointed because it's not, like, I was really looking forward to, like, the cute French, brown French tip. But it's fine. We're not going to complain. Today's still an amazing day, and... I still have the luxury of getting my nails done. So we're looking at the positives in life. And it's like, it's gonna, sometimes it's so easy to just like complain about this type of stuff and just be like, oh, like I'm so mad because they messed up my nails and all this stuff. But it's like, at the end of the day, like there's no joy in complaining like that. And so, yeah. Here they are a little closer. They're still really cute. I don't know how I like the shade of brown that I picked, but um, yeah, they're, they're so cute. But I think I'm gonna head to London Drugs now because I really wanna go pick up my photos that I got developed because um, on my disposable camera, I got them developed like last week and they're ready. I just haven't had the time or like I've kind of just been forgetting to pick them up. So I'm gonna go pick them up and then we're gonna head home. So I just picked up my photos and a lot of them didn't turn out nice because the camera i think was like kind of broken for the end like 15 photos which sucks because that's like half of them so it's not a big deal but oh my goodness you guys i got i'm so thankful for this photo this is probably my favorite photo of like life like this is my favorite photo in my entire life and i'm so thankful that i have it like i would have just got that disposable and paid 30 dollars just to have this one photo because i love it so much it's such a core memory so this is a photo that joel took of me when we first moved into our apartment it was the first day we were in there and it's just like 
my favorite photo of life like look at how freaking cute this is are you kidding me it just like captures us moving into our first apartment and imagine like us showing our kids this it's just like so monumental our first apartment when we were just moving in um but yeah there is some other cute ones see like a lot of the photos turned out like black because the camera was like whack like look at all these black photos mexico this is such a cute one of my dad I love this one so much. Yeah, I honestly didn't get many photos that turned out good, honestly. But the photos that I got, I really love. Like this one of me and Madison. How cute is that? But like I said, that one photo literally just makes it for me. So I don't care. So I got them digitally. So I have them on my phone too. But yeah, I'm gonna head home now because I'm so hungry. And I'm gonna make myself a nice iced coffee or something. So yeah, I'm literally starving. Okay, I just ate and um, feel so much better. Um, it's like already one o'clock. Anyways, um, I got some new pieces from Revolve. So I'm just going to quickly give you guys a bit of a haul. I tried to pick more affordable options. If you guys want to buy something, um, I didn't go too crazy, too expensive. So um, yeah, I, I kind of think this is like a cool haul setup. I don't know if it's just me, but anyways, it's kind of different. Everything is very folly, by the way. I got a lot of knits. But the first thing is just this like button down chill waffle shirt and I can just envision myself wearing this with like leggings or something. Be just super cute um, to lounge around the house in or wear out. And then I got this little green sweater vest which is the cutest thing. I've already worn it and I love it so much. And then I got this um, knit gray really thick and really cozy and good quality. Um, turtleneck and you can't go wrong with just a basic gray simple turtleneck and this one is just so freaking cozy and then I got this green um, sweater thing I just thought that this was a little bit different and I've never really seen anything like it so this would be kind of cool to wear with like jeans or something just to spice up an outfit a little bit it kind of reminds me of like Christmas vibes because of the green but I actually really like this. This is something that like I'm not going to wear that often just because it's like more of a out there type of piece. But it's just like nice to have a couple of these like colorful pieces in your wardrobe. And then I just got this baby pink um, cropped knit. And this one is such good quality as well. And so cozy. And you can literally wear this with leggings, jeans, whatever. And then I got, same idea, just like a beige knit, which is cropped again and can be worn with leggings, jeans, or whatever. Just super versatile. And then I got this black cardigan, which I actually really love. It's just like you can wear it over a little tank top or something, or you can wear it buttoned up with like leggings or jeans or whatever. Just super versatile. And I don't really have anything like this, so... And then I got this white um, crop turtleneck. Obviously, you just need a white basic turtleneck in your wardrobe because it's something that's really easy to just throw on when it's cold over jeans, leggings, or whatever. And this one's super cute and so soft. And then I got this blue turtleneck. I'm obsessed with this one. Like, how cute is this? I wore this on Thanksgiving. I actually posted an Instagram in it, but it is just so adorable and it's like different i've never seen anything like it but i'm just obsessed with it and then i got this knit this one is very cropped but i love it so much and i love like the pattern um detailing on the knit it's just really really pretty and i might even like wear this for christmas dinner or something because it's so cute but yeah i'm just obsessed with this one like look at the knit pattern on it and then i got this white knit it has like bigger sleeves like puffier sleeves and it's not a turtleneck, it's just like a mock neck. Um, I love it so much. And it, the back is so cute. It's an open back and it ties. So, and it's such good quality too. And then I just got this beige turtleneck. Um, just simple cropped first style. Could wear really anything. And it's really, really soft. Last thing I got, I think, yeah, is this um, set. It's like a crop. It's like one of those like wraparound weird, really cropped shirt thingies. And then it comes with a tank top underneath. So you wear it like a set. But I just thought that this was really like batty vibes, you know what I mean? And this would be so cute with just like a pair of jeans for going out in the fall or the winter. But yeah, I really love this. Because it's like the perfect medium between staying warm when you're going out but still having like that tank top vibe going on. But yeah, that is the haul. Let me know if you guys like seeing it off my clothing rack like that because I feel like that's just like, that was fun. It was like a little fashion, like I was like pulling pieces. I don't know, that was just fun. The weather has been so smoky because there's a fire somewhere. I'm not sure where the fire is, I forget. But it's been so smoky. Like, look at outside. 
It's so weird. It feels like we're in a freaking haze. Hold on, this isn't focusing. Here we go, but <laughs> you can see the sky now. It's like literally white. And it feels like we're just in this huge haze. Pretty cozy fall vibes with this all happening. Obviously not good that there's fires, but it's just like a really weird vibe right now. Hi guys. So I'm here with Talia. We're going to a fashion show. Both of us? Yeah. Okay. Like I don't know why or how I got invited, but it's like for Vancouver Fashion Week, which I didn't even know. Like I knew it was a thing, but I didn't know that it was gonna be like in October. But anyways, so we put two little cute outfits together and we're kind of wearing matching boot moments like exactly matching like it's really cute like mine are just the longer version of hers they're both from call it spring because they have like a 25 dollar off sale and they're so cute i'm gonna vlog on my phone because i don't know where my little camera went like i was trying to find it and we literally have to go like we are running so late starts in 20 minutes oops but we're good but we look good so yeah <laughs> cute Listen, you got Cleansing my soul of addiction for now Cause I'm falling apart yep. Tension Between us just like big defenses You got issues that I won't mention for now Cause we're falling apart from miles away Passive with the things you say Passing up on my own ways I can't blame you, no No Passing it from miles away Passive with the things you say Passing up on my own ways I can't blame you, no we exposing our TikTok. Oh my god, exposed. So we're leaving because I don't want to get kidnapped. Yeah, it's actually really sketchy here sometimes at it's night. It's almost midnight. <laughs> yeah, it's literally almost midnight and she's so right because she was like, I wasn't even thinking of that and it's good that you thought of that because I probably should be more Just because we were aware. Like, I'm being, like, aware. Yeah, like we were literally making TikToks and like dancing, literally dancing in the parkade. And like, I feel like this is obviously a safer. S yeah, exactly. Like we're literally downtown in the middle of a parkade. And like, yes, it's like we're in a parkade, but we're still kind of like in the same spot for a while, so people can literally like um, hunt us down. Just being basically. cautious. Yeah. No, but like that was a really good point because I didn't even freaking think of that. I don't know. And like, I feel Why? like my like gut was just being like, okay, you've been here for a while and you're like not paying attention that I'm like, you should maybe like pack it up. Now. Yeah, you and know? you know, but that's so true because like, just, I just get scared of like staying in one spot too long. 100% and like, I don't know why I didn't even think of that. Like I should have. Well, cause we were vibing, we were having fun. No, so, it's true, but, but it's, it's good that you did think of that because like when I'm in my, like, I just get so scared after a bit. Like yeah. I'm like, at first I'm like, oh fun. But then I'm like, okay, I'm scared. <laughs> No, like, that oh, is. And there was like nothing to make me all of a sudden be scared. Like we didn't see anyone, but I was like. No, but the thing is, is like maybe that was your gut saying, okay, get 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 out True. of here. Like maybe my intuition was like five seconds later, a scary guy comes down. Dude, what if though? Like you really never know, which I is the scary really. part. Um, but anyways, this is your sign to literally beware because we were making TikToks, dancing, and who knows what could have, like. But like I'm always pretty aware anyways like I literally look behind my shoulder every five seconds just in case Because where we are and what time of night it is. Yeah Better to be safe than sorry obviously Versus I'll be in my parking garage literally making to coach for like See, an hour I don't care because I'm like also in a gated place and it's with all the people I live with Exactly Anybody could come down here Exactly and I kind of got into that vibe where I thought like in my head it's like oh I'm in a parkade so I'm safe because like our parkades are safe mm -hmm. So it's like you you don't think of it Yeah And like down that's actually that could be scary so anyways and especially the way we're dressed too G great point great like point. look at how we're, we're we're not in sweatpants we're literally dressed we're like up easy targets right now. very easy unfortunately oh, that is so sad i know i hate that but it's true if we were men <laughs> dude not a problem if we were men like that's why TikTok all night that's why it's so sad because like literally if we were a man this mm. wouldn't be an issue but, but since... i wouldn't want to be a man also so yeah <laughs> <I know that. laughs> so it's I don't know, it's fine. Anyways, we're gonna head home now.
Good morning, you guys. I'm just on the way to the gym. As you guys saw yesterday, we had so much fun at the fashion show. It was such a cool experience because like I've never been to one before and it was just like really cool and such a fun time. And I'm really grateful to have like the opportunity to go. And then we went to Earl's and we got some food. We got some chicken tacos and pizza and it was so good. Um, and we didn't get home until literally 1 a.m. And then she still had to drive home from my place so she didn't get home till later. But I was exhausted. I literally went into bed and I just passed out. Usually my bedtime is so early, like around like 10, like 9, 45 to 10. That's my normal bedtime, so I was so tired. But it was such a fun night out. Like I love going out like that. Um, obviously not every day, but it was so much fun. Um, so I woke up at like 9 this morning. It's currently like 10.30, so I'm going to the gym pretty late. Because I usually like going earlier. I still wanted to come today. Um, I honestly have a lot of editing to do today just because I need to finish a whole video for tomorrow that I barely even started. This week has been like busy. I was editing for a few hours, but I still have so much to do for the video tomorrow because it's more of like an edited one. So I need to sit my butt down today after I get home and edit. And then tonight, we're actually going to Fright Night with um, me and Joel are going with Madison, my sister and her boyfriend. Connor so that's gonna be fun yeah we're really excited they have like haunted houses it's at like Playland which is like an amusement park so and it's like all like Halloween's out so that's like the first like f I guess fall or like Halloween thing that I'm doing so anyways that's the plan for today come to the gym I'm gonna do a quick workout oh my god you guys I have been having like really bad eczema flare-ups and I've been using this um Vaseline all over body balm like i've been having like really dry skin in the corners of my mouth and i think it's causing my eczema i'm not sure so i'm gonna like get it sorted out but i think it's for my eczema but anyways i've just been using this all over my literal face and it's been helping me so much and it's just like nice how you can just carry it it doesn't actually like cure it but it definitely soothes it so that i'm not like dying um but i would suggest this if you guys suffer with like drier skin in the winter and you like vaseline because it's just like a literal huge chapstick honestly i use it as i just go like and then i literally put it like under my chin where i get eczema spots because it just helps soothe it but I did order a huge thing, not a huge thing, but like that big, like a tub of Aquaphor, because I've never tried Aquaphor before. So I got it on Amazon. It was like $20 for like a huge tub. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to bite the bullet because I know I'm going to use it. And apparently Aquaphor is so good. So I really hope that helps. Um, but I really want to get like a lip balm Aquaphor. I feel like that would be really um, helpful because I've heard Aquaphor is like the best. So I definitely want to try that. But anyways, I brought a Magic Mind shot with us that we're going to take to get just some energy in. Mm. Cheers, how dare I do that? Okay, let's go. Even though I really don't feel like working out right now, we're pushing through. So I'm currently getting ready for a fright night. I'm so excited. Like I said, first spooky season thing that I'm doing. I haven't even been in the pumpkin patch yet. Like what the hell is wrong with me? Now it's starting to rain though. So it's like, I don't know when we're gonna go, but I definitely do want to find a day maybe next week. But anyways, I just made myself a coffee. It's really random time to have a coffee. It's literally like 3.30, almost 4 o'clock. But I just haven't had a coffee today. And since we're going out tonight, I'm like, it would be good for the energy. But anyways, so Summer Fridays was so sweet to send me a package. And I just wanted to show you guys what I got from them. This is the cutie little package that they sent me. They got me their jet lag mask. Um, this is actually a refill because they already sent me this. And it is the best thing ever. If you guys... Need something to hydrate your face i literally use this as a moisturizer after i do my skincare and i don't wash it off it's so hydrating like you wake up with the softest skin 10 out of 10 worth it and then i've been using um their sunscreen so they gave me a refill because i literally have a couple of drops left in this one because i've been using it every single day and i love it so much it's just like such a good basic sunscreen to have it's 30 spf and it's really good just to wear every day because there's no tint to it and it just makes your skin look really beautiful and glowy and then what i'm most excited about they sent me their new um blushes cheek lip and cheek what's it called cheap cheek and lipstick sorry that was like a mouthful but anyways apparently i'm pretty sure these have like hyaluronic acid in them so they're kind of mixed with some skincare 
so i think i'm gonna try like the, as you can see there's three shades but i think i'm just gonna try this like pink one um i did like my base and stuff and i was like oh my god i should try the blush that they gave me look at the packaging it's so cute i love summer fridays Ooh, that is so cute that is a really pretty color let's blend it out that is so pretty oh my gosh i love that and it's like really subtle but really nice this might just be my new go-to blush and i feel like this would be a really good blush if you're just like wearing sunscreen for the day and you wanted more of a skincare no makeup makeup look if that even makes sense i do have makeup on like i put concealer on but if i were to just be wearing like sunscreen and skincare i feel like this is good because it does have skincare in it so it's kind of both but that is such a pretty shade are you kidding me love it anyways i'm gonna continue getting ready but i just wanted to say thank you to summer fridays for sending me that because i genuinely really like their products but anyways i'm gonna continue getting ready and i will show you guys what i'm gonna wear and then i'll probably take a few clips at friday night i'm so excited yeah. friday night fits Connor's back everyone was coloring the comments <laughs> we're going for sushi and then we're just gonna go straight there Listen. Seeing you got ritualistic Cleansing my soul of addiction for now Cause I'm falling apart Yeah, tension Between us just like big fences You got issues that I won't mention for now Cause we're you guys, I got an Amazon package in the mail. I'm going to open it right now because it is the Aquaphor that I think I mentioned in this vlog that I ordered because I've been just having some weird dry skin lately around my face area. So apparently Aquaphor is like really good to slug with and um, you can also just like use it on your dry patches or whatever. But let me know if you guys have ever tried slugging like on your face. If you don't know what it is, it's basically like you put on your moisturizer and like you do your skincare routine. And then on top of all of that, you put on like a Vaseline, Aquaphor, or like the CeraVe healing ointment. Something that's like, I think it's supposed to be like petroleum based. I'm not exactly sure. Don't quote me on that. You can search it up if you want to know good products to slug with. But I've been doing it with Vaseline and it works so well. Like it just makes my face so soft and honestly really helped when I was flaring up with my eczema on my face. And now my face just feels so soft. I know it's not for everybody, but I think my face really likes it. So um, anyways, okay, I got the biggest one. This is absolutely ginormous. I kind of regret getting this now because it's not portable. Um, I almost wish I got like the smaller two, but I can also order that honestly I can just use this one like for home and then um, also have the smaller two because I am planning on slugging with this Apparently, it's really good for slugging. I don't slug every day though I've been slugging only like three times a week They say if you want to like repair your skin barrier or if you have really dry skin to do it every single day And then after your skin heals to upkeep it just to do it like two to three times a week or something. Oh, wow Mmm looks so goopy feels like pretty much like Vaseline, but I'm pretty sure it's better than Vaseline like it's supposed to be better I'm probably gonna purchase this if I like it in a smaller tube It's funny how I just went with the big tube right off the bat But it was like a lot cheaper to get the big one rather than the small one because it just came with so much more So that's why I did it because I was like, oh, I might as well just get the big one. Oh, it already feels so good 10 out of 10 <laughs> But I don't know. I don't know yet. You can't take my recommendation yet because I literally just opened it But anyways, I'm really excited to use this I will link it down below because I think I found like the cheapest one on Amazon Because there were some of these tubs selling for like $40 and I got this for only like 20 But holy shit, you guys, I made the best banana bread ever I will have the recipe linked down below. It's Emma McDonald's banana bread recipe And we basically finish everything. It is so good and it's actually like a really healthy recipe and it's the best banana bread that i've ever tasted and what i like doing is after i make it i like putting a banana on the top it is just so good 10 out of 10 would suggest if you guys have some moldy looking bananas so good I'm